Now this is the important part. I'm going to be using a highly sophisticated tool. I'm sorry if you don't have one, but um, we'll make do with our hands. No, I'm just kidding, it's a fork. Hi everyone, Chef Elise here. I'm a pastry chef and recipe developer, and today I'm in Welling Goods Kitchen for Alt Baking Boot Camp. We're gonna be making gluten-free sweet potato donut holes today. Let's get into it. I already have my pre-roasted sweet potato, which you just roast for one hour, covered in foil at 400 degrees. So I'm just gonna mash this down, and I'm just gonna mash it until it comes together, kind of like in a fine little puree. You could easily throw this in the blender if you're pressed for time or you just can't be bothered. But I find doing it by hand, you get to see and feel the consistency. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna set this aside. Now, I'm gonna be mixing together all of my dry ingredients. So I have my gluten-free flour, warming spices like clove and allspice, cinnamon, some nutmeg. But my secret ingredient for this is a bit of cardamom, which adds kind of like a light, bright citrusy note. A little salt, some baking powder. So now I'm gonna just whisk together. And you just wanna give it a light whisk until things are thoroughly combined and there's no dark patches from any one spice. Okay. That looks really good. I'm gonna just set it aside and we're gonna work on our wet mixture. So I'm gonna add my brown sugar, coconut oil, and oat milk to the bowl of my mixer. And this is just a little melted coconut oil. And lastly, one egg. So we're gonna get this going on low to start and then after those things begin to combine, we're gonna up our speed to about medium and let that go for about two minutes. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. The egg has been fully emulsified into the mixture. So I'm gonna just pop this down, grab my sweet potato. So you just wanna pop it in. Just pour in a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm gonna bring this back up and we're gonna mix it on medium just until the sweet potato begins to incorporate with our wet mixture. Okay, that looks good. And now we're gonna put our dry ingredients in, in two batches. Now I'm gonna put in the last bit of my dry ingredients, and again, I'm just gonna watch it go. Oh, that looks so good. It smells even better. So I'm just going to fold my mixture one final time just to make sure everything fully incorporated. So now that our batter is set for our donuts, I have just like a little mini loaf pan that I've already sprayed down. I used avocado oil and I'm gonna grab just a little two teaspoon mini scoop. If you don't happen to have one of these on hand, feel free to just grab a spoon or a tablespoon would be great. So I'm just gonna scoop out some batter and press it against the side because we want it to be kind of flat so that we can have the most consistent size. I'm gonna pop this into an oven set to 350, which has already been preheating. We're gonna bake them off for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're golden brown, fluffy. And I'm telling you, you're gonna know when they're done because you're gonna smell it and you're gonna wanna eat it. So let's get these in the oven. Our donut holes are done baking. I've set them aside to let them cool. But while they're cooling, I'm going to make a citrus glaze. So first, I'm gonna grab a microplane or zester. You just zest right away. And I know that a lot of people think this is how you do it, right? No, wrong, false. You go like this and you let it build in there. And then when you get whatever you need, you just go swoop, and yes, the swoop is necessary. So I'm gonna zest the entirety of this orange and about half of my lemon. I want it to be very citrusy. 
So we're almost done with our orange. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna set that over there. Now for our lemon. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. So we only need about half of the lemon. We want the orange to be taking front and center. I feel like people sleep on orange. People hear the word citrus, they think of lemon, they think of lime. Orange is wonderful. There's many a race. So now we're just gonna pour in our oat milk. I have some pre-cut orange slices. Just gonna take about a handful. And I'm just gonna squeeze. We need about a tablespoon of juice, not too much. And you can add more juice as needed, depending on how smooth the texture you want it to be. And you just whisk to combine. Just work it through, trust the process. It's gonna seem really thick. And if it gets to a paste-like consistency, but it's still too thick, you just add a little bit more juice. So this is good, but we want it a little bit thinner. We wanna add a little bit more. Yep, that's what we want. We want it to be able to drop directly off of our whisk. Our donut holes have cooled and they're ready for glaze. And I'm just gonna grab one out. So you're just gonna pop it directly into the glaze. And you're just gonna to toss it back and forth and get it coated. Then you're gonna scoop and set it over there. And you're just gonna repeat that process. Typically you wanna let this kind of cool at room temperature until it's hardened but I am impatient and these are delicious. So I'm gonna take a bite. God, it's incredible. Those warming spices and the sweet potato makes it so moist and the addition of the cardamom pairs beautifully with the fresh citrus. I don't think the rest of these are gonna make it. Sorry. For more recipes like this, make sure you subscribe to Well and Good, and I hope you guys make them. They're incredibly delicious. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed.